the country of Iceland feels like a whole world in itself. One moment you'll be climbing basalt columns on a black sand beach, and then all of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, you'll be standing at the base of a rushing waterfall. Experiencing the diversity of Iceland's land is an adventure unlike any other, and to do it all by a van, well, let's just say it's a journey to remember. Today is day four of our epic van life road trip around Iceland and we are having a bit of a later start today because, <laughs> well, I guess ever since we landed here in Iceland, I've been dealing with a bit of an allergic reaction on my skin and it has essentially spread to my face and I decided that maybe I should see a doctor, but unfortunately there weren't any slots open for me to see one. So I'm just gonna tough it out. I'm gonna deal with it until we get back home. But I guess since we're on camera, um, you know, me being human, I'm feeling a little self-conscious about the way that I'm looking um, because I do have bumps on my face. I'm like trying to hide it you can actually see it like along here but i'm just gonna cover it up uh, try not to think about it and enjoy our iceland road trip so we are in front of a beautiful waterfall let's go have an amazing day another day another wonderful waterfall here in iceland we are currently walking towards salialand's foss and what was cool is I could actually see it from over like 10 kilometers away. I could see it way in the distance from the road. And I think that's one of the cool things about Iceland is everything is so vast. And you can see these great distances, especially because there's not so many trees around. At this waterfall, you can actually hike behind it. And I think we're going to do it. And I think we're also going to get very wet because we're just standing here and we're already getting misted pretty heavily. <laughs> That is some cold water. <laughs> All I hear is there go. Ah! Oh! Oh! I feel like this is the authentic Icelandic experience yeah. being behind this waterfall right now. I feel like a frozen popsicle, but it's so pretty. It's very refreshing. It makes you not think about your allergic reaction yeah. a little bit. I'm not thinking about my skin condition right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so peaceful out there. <laughs> I was asking Chad before this, I'm like, should I wear some clothes I don't really care about because I'm gonna be soaking wet? He's like, no, we're not gonna be that wet. As like, I'm soaked to the bone. <laughs> Back to the van. made it to Big Skogi and I'm just so grateful for the weather that we've had here in Iceland so far because normally it's very gray, rainy, gloomy, but look at this, not a cloud in the sky and there's a full rainbow cascading off of the waterfall. I've got to say that sometimes places like this are so popular but they're totally overrated. This one is not. It is so cool. <laughs> Players suited up. And we're standing right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can see a full in Iceland are the cutest sheep I have ever seen in my whole life and I really want to see them up close but once I got there they started running away shaking their fat little butts at us and so I'm just looking at them from afar through the lens of our camera but they're so round I just want to hug it <laughs> This morning, Chad was telling me that today would be his favorite day on our Iceland road trip because not only would we be seeing some really epic waterfalls, some beautiful mountains, we'd also be seeing the ocean. And now that we are pulling up near the coast, I can see all of it in one place. And it really is like the pinnacle of Iceland so far. And I agree, like today really is something special. We have made it to the famous Black Sand Beach and if you crawl with me this way you will see the thing that Chad has been so excited about is the basalt rock that actually inspired the church in Reykjavik <laughs> and we're gonna go climb them <laughs> Yes Alright, we're gonna climb Go climb them Chad Get them good <laughs> Probably as high as I should go. That's it. There's the ground. You didn't make hey, it that high. Up. Fine, I'll keep going. <laughs> it's kind of cool because they're all tangled, but it's also kind of scary. <laughs> You're only like three feet from the ground. It looks higher. <laughs> I guess I uh, gave him a challenge. Now he's going higher and higher. <laughs> I'll stay here. My number one fan. Nice. Was it too bad? You went the easy way. <laughs> I went the smart way. Woo. So bright. I'm 
up. Go that way. <laughs> you sit right in there. In my little nook. Yeah. We're safe. I have to say, this is probably one of the most magical places in Iceland that I've experienced so far. I just think the mountains, the sea, the rock, the birds flying, and the green moss on these mountains just all adds up to create something that literally feels like another world. Yeah, I will have to say, I started off with quite a sad day, you know, with my allergic reaction. But after being in nature all day, I've kind of forgotten about that, and I've just reminded <laughs> about the importance of life, you know, to yeah. be present and, you know, skin condition, it doesn't matter. And I'm just very happy right now. And it's all thanks to Mother Nature and this beautiful planet we live on. But I think we're going to just soak up a few more minutes of sunlight, but it is getting kind of cold and windy. So I think we're gonna head back to the van and then make it to the city of Vik. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Vik. Vik. So after a quick 13 minute drive, we have made it to the little town of Vik and we're about to go and have some dinner. Yeah, we did not have time to grocery shop because of our light start in the day and I'm totally fine with that. They apparently specialize in soup <laughs> and I'm so down for some cozy and warm soup in my body right now. Yeah. It's been a chilly day. <laughs> Will she figure it out? <laughs> do you know how? Mm hmm. I do. You do? Yeah. Am I You're, doing it right? Nope. No? No. Oh, warmer. Gluggity <laughs> <laughs> glug. Claire looks like a hipster. Hipster vibes. <laughs> wow. That mm. is beautiful. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So cool. And Joe. Thank you Thank so you. much. The very first thing we got is this lava bread bowl and it's baked in this beautiful black bread. And on the inside, you have like this really rich red thick soup. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And then there's also like maybe some yogurt in here, some skeh. And then over here, we have Kjotsupa, which we did try in our Icelandic food tour. It is that delicious lamb soup with all sorts of hearty vegetables in there. I think we're in for a treat. <laughs> back up to the cashier desk with my credit card ready to buy another soup and then they informed me that they have free refills and I was like what that's amazing so I brought my empty bowl back up and they refilled it with the same soup that I ordered so I'm on my second round no way <laughs> I know but I we can't bring the bread bowl well if you didn't eat the bread bowl you could have brought it back up but we didn't know that so Chad ate the whole bread bowl <laughs> So Chad went back to the refill station, told them that he ate the whole bread bowl and he didn't get a refill. And they still gave him a refill, which is so nice. <laughs> this place is awesome. I know. Our soup experience has turned into an all-you-can-eat buffet. I know this is a thing that's going to keep me warm tonight, so I'm filling to the brim. I'm oh filling gosh. all the way up. <laughs> You're not a gas tank. 
I'm a gas tank when it comes to this cold of weather and sleeping in a van. <laughs> So after two nights of freezing in the van with Claire clinging on to me for dear life, we have decided to upgrade and use the electricity that our van is hooked up with. This is actually something that our van did not have. You can just plug it into shore power, which is pretty nice. And then we have these two little heaters. They kind of look like speakers uh, that provide the life into the van because yeah. it is pretty cold without them. It's very, very cozy with the heaters and I feel like because this van might not be quite as insulated as the one that we had built out, yeah. it is really nice having the heaters and also yeah. because it's just blistering cold out there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I feel like our bodies had um, adjusted really well to hot weather after the heat wave in France yeah. and Italy <laughs> that it just like can't even it do can't a little bit of cold. Yeah, because it's getting into like the 30s at night. Mm -hmm. It's just too much for us right now at least. But I think we're actually going to be ending the video here. We have one more video in Iceland. Our time here has been flying by, mm -hmm. but I'm really excited for this next one. Yeah. Also, today was just incredible. I can't get over the views that we got to see. Things I'll remember for a very long time. Mm -hmm. I say that all the time now. <laughs> but really I'm pretty excited to be here. Yeah, but definitely stay tuned for that series finale. I feel like the last video in a series is always one of our best, so I'm really excited to share that with you all. So if you'd like to see it, hit subscribe as we continue forth with our 50 country goals. So this is our 15th country. Yeah. We still have many more to go. And as always, a really big hug to all of our um, Patreon supporters. But with that, we'll say good night or good night, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.